In today's video, we will be discussing the validation process for ensuring that the source and target tables do not contain any common records. For the purpose of this video, we are considering two tables, the permanent employee table and the temporary employee table. There should not be overlapping records between these tables, meaning there are no employees who are both temporary and permanent. Let's start by creating a reconciliation rule. Let's give the rule appropriate name. Let's establish our source data connection. Our source database is AdventureWorks. Our schema is HR and our table is permanent employer. We can preview the data. The table has first name, middle name and last name of the employee along with the employee ID. Let's establish our target data connection. Our target database is AdventureWorks. Our schema is HR. And our table is temporary employer. This table has the same columns as the permanent employee table. Let's set up the diff join condition. Let's use employee ID as our join condition. Let's set up our checks. Our main focus is on finding the common records that is intersection of records between the two tables, denoted as A intersection B. We will disable all other checks and solely enable the a. Intersection B. Let's publish. Run the rule. Let's refresh our results. We have encountered a warning. The source count which represents the number of records is 99. On the other hand, the target count, representing the number of records is 201. There are four records that are common between the two tables. Let's investigate further by clicking on instance ID. We have the employees 96, 97, 98 and 99 present in both the permanent employee and temporary employee tables. Thus, by using IceDQ, we have successfully validated the scenario of finding common records between two tables. With IceDQ Automate Data Migration Testing, ETL and Big Data Testing, BI Report Testing, and Production Data Monitoring, Get ICE DQ today.